gentlemen, boys and girls, this is the new speed presented to you by Lady Sly Can Survivor. Follow, follow the beat, follow the beat from the studio to the street. Info with the flow, keep you sharp and in the know. Sit back, relax, enjoy the news, follow. Out there in Europe, there's a revolution. People in Ukraine took the world's attention. 80 people died fighting the oppression. Despite the government snipers and Russian insiders, without use of a gun, they sent President Yanukovych on the run. Opposition leaders were free, people relieved, hope restored, the whole world watching indeed. When people unite to fight, no power can resist a popular plight. Zimbabwe's Mugabe just turned 90, aging on but still feeling mighty. Spent time in prison like Madiba and later on became a state leader. From a prisoner to a revolutionary to the legendary headstrong adversary. He fought for the people, a right to be free. Highly educated with seven college degrees, one million dollars for his birthday celebration. I assume our president got his invitation. For 34 years still the man of the hour. Since 1980 still the man in power. Send us your mini skirts, says women in Tanzania. Obviously, we don't need them anymore. Ethics committee says this law was first raised under Idi Amin's regime. The recent law leaves too many blanks. People could take justice into their own hands. That's what happened to a lady in a bee. She wore a mini skirt and got assaulted for indecency. Dragged on the floor with no respect for humanity. A strange behavior in the 21st century. For the most part of the human history, the dress code was just simple nudity. Let's hope we can all respect the law and the law can also see the difference between freedom to dress and a road to excess. What a brilliant idea the East African community. Good for business, peace and prosperity. History shows that things work better when neighbors come and work together for the better. Like the Europeans who used to fight wars and now it's open borders, open doors and shores. That's a good philosophy, but a true federation is still a fantasy. The East African community was Uganda. Kenya, Tanzania in 1967, Burundi and Rwanda in 2007 joined the community in unity. Members are now free to cross from border to border without a passport. Good news for the tourists, a merry go round. All you need is one visa to move around. That was the news on the beat. Next week will be another hit. Still let us lie. And survivor. Reporting live and direct with love and respect. Follow the beat, follow the beat, follow the beat, follow the beat. Follow the beat. Follow the beat, follow the beat, follow the beat, follow the beat. Follow the beat.